Ooh, got one. Hey guys, so today's a little bit different. We're not going to be bass fishing. I'm going to be trout fishing. It's going to be in a stock stream. I've went over there a couple times the last couple weeks, and there hasn't really been much action, but hopefully there will be a little bit tonight. And yesterday, I went and caught a bunch of really good bass. Hopefully, you've already watched the video. If not, go watch that video. So, I am here, and I realized something. I drove the wrong truck. Yeah, the other truck has... A tackle box with a bunch of trout gear in it and all that good stuff. This one, well, this truck has basic gear in it because I just grabbed my ta my basic tackle box. So we'll see, we'll see if we can still make something happen. But <clears throat> it's maybe an adventure. So also I realized I don't have any actual weights. Poop. Which means, unless I got some in a walleye, let me check a walleye rig, my walleye box, I may have something in there. That does that one. Nope. <laughs> that makes you feel dumb. That makes you feel real dumb. I'm going fishing, and I brought the wrong gear. But, we will see if I can still make it happen. For those of you that think I can do it, thank you. For those of you that think I will not catch anything because I have the wrong gear with me. Okay, I kind of agree with you. So. We will see. So yesterday I felt really dumb because I filmed all that great footage only to realize that I had a smudge on the camera lens. So hopefully I got that wiped off today. We'll wipe it off just one more time just to be safe. The last thing I want to do is have more smudges. So, you may notice I'm using power bait, so yes, I am kind of cheating. But, these stock trout are not wild trout. And there's really no good place in here to throw a fly. So, yes, I'm a cheater. I'm using power bait. You can write all that in the comments. Just like and subscribe, please. There we go, I brought one there. Shoot. All right, well, let's get this. Go to another spot and retire. Ooh, got one. Ah, oh, that's exactly. Hoorah! There's a good little rainbow. Hey, swallow the hook too, big time. Alright, calm down. Good grief. Well, this one's definitely coming home with me to eat because he really ate this hook and he's bleeding everywhere. Got him. Oh, wow. He's bleeding all over. I guess what we'll do is get an old Indian stick kind of thing. First off, you want to kill, dispatch him nice and effectively. 
once you've killed them, you know what I like to do? Just take a little bit of like privet or something like this. I ripped off a little bit of privet there. Now we'll take this stick. Chop it off right there at the end. And what you can do is run up through the mouth right there, and you have yourself a makeshift stringer. Simple. Very easy to do. So we have the rainbow that I caught earlier. With rainbow trout, the easiest way to clean them is just to gut them and then you can wash them out and fry them. So what I'm first going to do is you want a really sharp knife and a bag to put the meat in or a plate if you're going to go straight to the table. So you make a small incision along the vent hole. I'm going to work that all the way up. Along through this bone right here. And up to the base of the gills. Just like that. Very simple incision. Very easy to do. Reach in there. Get a hold of the esophag esophagus area up here. What I do then is I get a hold of it and just like with a deer where I cut it with a deer, reach up in there, chop it out, and then just pull all the internal organs right out of the fish. We're going to throw those away. And then as you can see when you look down in here, you have a nice cleaned out cavity of the fish and it's ready to be cooked. Sometimes, some people like to cut the head off and I'll go ahead and do that on this fish. So what I do is I cut right here at the base of the gills, peel up, just like that. And right there, and the whole head comes off quite nicely actually. Just like that. You've nice and easily removed the head and the entrails and with a quick rinse it'll be ready to cook. Hey guys, so right now I'm going to be showing you guys how to cook a rainbow trout. I have the rainbow trout here in the bag. It's washed and cleaned and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a little bit of a pan fry. So we're going to put in the pan <coughs> with some butter and mix in some garlic, salt, pepper, and lemon juice. So we'll see how it turns out. So we're going to start off by putting it to medium heat and getting about a quarter stick of butter sauteing. Oh, three quarter heat. While we let the butter warm up, we're going to prepare the trout. To prepare the trout, I'm going to take two tablespoons of butter and I'm going to slice them in half. We're going to let those sit those on the side right there. Once we have that, we're going to, with one hand I'm going to touch the fish and I'm not with the other so I don't cross contaminate. So we're going to slide that butter up inside there, slide some more butter. Then I'm going to take some, some pepper, shake it up inside there. I'm also going to take a little tiny bit of garlic. And we're going to shake it up and shake it and get it up in there to add it, give it a little bit of flavor. 
Now you want to be careful not to put too much garlic in. You can really over garlic your fish very easily. Next we'll put a little bit of salt. I'm also going to lay some salt and pepper on the outside of the fish, kind of rub it on. As you can see, now the pan is warmed up nicely. We'll add a little tiny bit more butter in there. And you can use oil of some kind or two. I just like butter because it gives it better flavor. And now that is nice and hot. Now we're going to add our fish. Just slide it all on there. Get in there and cook. And I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit. I don't want to burn it on the outside. Now, it's been a couple minutes. I'm going to flip it over. And as you can see, we've got that nice golden brown look to it right there. That is beautiful. Now I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice. Kind of forgot to do that earlier. Oops. I'll give it a little bit of flavor right there. So anyway, it's been a few minutes. We're going to flip it back over, see how it's looking. Oh yeah, it's looking really good. I'm going to take a little bit of this teaspoon, soak it up and just pour it over and kind of baste this fish as it cooks. So my fish has been in about five minutes on each side. I'm going to leave it for about 30 more seconds on this side and then flip it over for 30 more seconds on the other side and it'll be done. So it's been the right amount of time. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the pan, lay it on the plate, and this rainbow trout is ready to be eaten. It's a nice golden brown texture, as you can tell. It's still soft and moist, but it's crunch the skin is nice and crispy, which is what you want. And I'll show you guys how to debone it here in just a sec. So now I'm going to show you my preferred way to get the bones out of these things. So what I like to do is I like to take the tail and just barely start scraping a little bit of the meat right there. And when you have it cooked properly, you should be able to take it just like this. Ooh, that's hot. Still pretty warm. As you can see, what I'm doing is I'm running up with my fork and everything. Just peel it right out. And that is one fillet, almost completely deboned. It needs a little bit more, but not much. Then I will flip it over like this and do the exact same procedure on this side. <clears throat> and what that does is this helps eliminate your Y bones and for those of you that don't know on a fish you have the skeletal structure and then right here these little hair things are what are called Y bones that's what gives some fish a bad rap for a lot of people is fish will have these little Y bones right up in here and people can't figure out how to get those out of the meat and it causes a lot of problems but as you can see with this rainbow trout I deboned just like that now, all you have to do is you go along and you'll pick out the fins, because each fin has bones. There's bone structure on there. Some bone structure right there. There's some bone structure on that fin. And there's one more set of fin right here. And the gill raker. And now, you just want to kind of, what I'll do is I'll run my finger along this line right here, this lateral line, and you can feel if any more Y bones are still stuck up in there. And if there are, you just nicely pull them out, and that's it. That's all there is to it. So, it's not that hard to debone a fish. It just takes a little bit of practice. And with a little bit of practice, anybody can do it. And there you have it. Two beautiful, wild-caught rainbow trout flies. Let's try it out. That is really good. 
And as you can tell, I'm self-filming, so oops, there's a little Y bone right there. So just when you pull them out, just be cautious of them. You may still get some Y bones. But if you're careful, you shouldn't have too many. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video today, click the like and subscribe button down below. Hopefully you all learned something, and I hope you have a great day. God bless. Bye-bye.